are you out? I thought you were. My protein. <laughs> What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. Oh my god, I just nearly dropped an entire tub of pre. Jesus. We're going for the pre workout in the sour gummy flavour today. Uh, I'm thinking about picking this up in a different flavour. You know me, I like to have my options, especially when it comes to pre workout. I like to have my options in terms of dosages, in terms of flavours, in terms of effects, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I had the, the cola one yesterday as well. That was really, really good. So, we definitely recommend if you like cola bottle sweets out of a Haribo packet to get the pre workout. Not the pre workout plus, the pre workout in the cola flavour. It was delightful. One goal today the pump. Oh, I swear to God, you can have this heater on for like 20 minutes before you come in, and you come in and it is still cold. It's like being outside here at the minute, mind you, he says that whilst wearing shorts. But. Today is the pump. <clears throat> Why, you ask? Well, I have a confession to make, people. If you've been following me on Instagram, you will know that it's been recently Charlotte's birthday. Last week, as of the time of filming this, we went away for the weekend. We had pizzas, we had roast dinners, we had donuts, we had sour strips, we had oh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> we, we ate a lot, okay? We did not. Give a flying f about the gym, a flying f about anything fitnessy related, really. We just enjoy spending time together, ate what we wanted, did what we wanted, and it was fantastic. <laughs> However, that has taken its toll on, uh, on the scales, on the body weight. Holding on to a lot of water right now, I get puffy around the cheeks pretty much straight away. I noticed that there's very little definition in my abs as it is, because I'm about 15%, right? I had that little bit of water and they just, uh, bye bye. And for that reason, I have uh, looked in the mirror and not felt too great, you know? So what am I gonna do? Just train and train and train. If I feel like I have reps left in me, I will do those reps. I'm just gonna push, push, push. I want a big ass pump today, okay? I've taken a scoop of my protein plus, my protein, the pre-workout plus. You know what I mean? You've already seen it. I've had my protein notes beforehand. I've got a banana that I'm thinking I might snack on midway through. Today's gonna to be a good session. We are not aiming for a heavy shoulder press. We are not aiming for anything like that today. I just wanna push, pull, and just train.
thing is with this weekend, right? Or this past kind of week, really, because I was with Charlotte on Friday and then Monday. Friday through Monday, just that like crap, basically. It was very much needed, like, not necessarily because of a diet break or anything like that, because I don't feel like I need one of those, especially when I have phases like that. I can just go back into kind of eating good now and it's no real issue, if that makes sense. But it was very much needed for just a personal point of view, really, just to do nothing, just to enjoy myself, eat what I want. Training to a lot of people is a chore, making videos would be a chore. Neither of those things are actually a chore to me because I do really enjoy them. But, you still need a break from the stuff that you really enjoy. To do sweet f all, you know? Every now and then, and this is something that happens once, twice a year for a couple of days at a time really for me, because of what I do with, with, with this and stuff. This is essentially a low-key business right now. I'm gonna build it up, but like it's a low-key kind of business, you know? And you know if you're self-employed or you know someone who knows someone who's self-employed, then you don't really, you don't really switch off because you just think, right, I'm gonna lose that momentum. I'm gonna, you know, I, you, something's gonna go wrong if I switch off sort of thing. And uh, other than Instagram posts, I didn't film any vlogging stuff um, uh, this past weekend. That's the first time I've done that, or not done that, should I say, for 18 months, maybe more. I went to Dublin, I took my camera. I went to everywhere I've been, everything I've done, I've taken the camera. And we took some lovely photos, because this place was unbelievable. It was gorgeous. It was very scenic, you know, it was very Instagrammable. And so we both uh, do enjoy, Charlotte enjoys photography more than she lets on because I make her take photos for me and stuff so she has to be like no for God's sake but she does enjoy it and she does appreciate a nice photo you know so we we, we took some nice photos but left put the camera to one side for once in my life and um yeah it was nice but I missed it all I could think about it was nice to not have to worry about it but then at the same time I was like ah I could make a good video could some, get some good footage of that it's just ingrained in my brain you know it's the thing, when it's not a chore and you genuinely love it, it's, uh, it can be hard to take a step back at times. But it was her birthday, so you know, I had to. The diet, on the other hand, well, that was, that was just, you know, I, I, I just donuts, you know? don't always necessarily um, realize is uh, and it's not a bad thing because why the hell would they realize this but like the amount of thought and time and preparation and editing and everything that goes into this it consumes my life at times and that you know that that's what I want <laughs> you know it's not a bad thing but people don't realize that that is sometimes the case and so it is nice to sometimes just go somewhere and, and not have it consume your life you know I'm not bothered about it consuming my life because at the end of the day, I want it to be my job. I want it to be my life. <laughs> and I'm very fortunate to be in a position where it can consume my life and I can still maintain my life, if that makes sense. That doesn't make any sense. Some of you, you know what I mean. I keep saying for the longest period of time now that a lot has changed. I keep making Instagram posts. I keep saying things on, on here um, about things that have changed in my life. Um, a lot has, has changed and I am gonna do a video, a life update kind of video um, on everything, on my life, on YouTube, on work, on uh, education, ev everything. Literally everything that you could think of that you know I haven't spoken about for a while. Um, because I, it takes time to process things sometimes, you know? And um, I've taken that time to think about uh, how it can affect me, how I can grow from it, the pros and cons from it, what I can check, everything you know, you know, I've been thinking about it for a while now. Um, and the reason I haven't done the video is because I, I don't know the right way to say the kind of things that have been happening and stuff. Um, but all will become clear very, very soon. And, um, you know, you just gotta be a bit patient with me and uh, all will become clear when you actually watch the video, um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. I wanna get it done before Christmas because at the end of the day, you know, is, I've been saying I'm going to do it for ages and I 
pump out all these videos and none of them have actually been the life update video that I've been saying I'm going to do. So stay tuned for that one. And um, on that note, I have been pumping out a lot of videos lately. Um, and I wanted to thank you guys for your support on those because at the end of the day, it's... <laughs> It's harder to, to kind of keep up. You know when Casey Neistat used to do daily vlogs? I never used to be able to keep up with them and then I used to just binge them. But you know, views haven't necessarily dipped or anything because sometimes if you upload daily, people say, ah, oh, sat that one off, sat that one off. And you guys have still come through with the support. So thank you, I, uh, I appreciate it because obviously I was on my own that week, pumped out as many videos as I possibly could. Alpha League videos, we've got uh, my protein videos coming up. What else is there? Black Friday stuff. Loads of stuff coming up, and so um, I'm going to be pumping out as many videos as I can. I'm going to keep going with that. Um, obviously, Wednesday, Sunday is, all, is the staple. If you're new here, I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday, usually in the evening time, UK time, and then anything else that I can kind of fit in in between is just a bonus, you know. Um, but I think for the last six, maybe eight weeks, I've done minimum three videos a week, so I, I, I'm happy with I'm, Chuff with myself, because at the end of the day, every single video that I make is uh, one step closer to to getting to where I want to be, you know? This video that I'm making right now gets you one step closer to where, well, where I want to be. And um, yeah, without your support on those kinds of videos, on every single video, we're never gonna get there. But you know what? Together, we will freaking grow. Just gone on a massive rant and ramble and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to do a life update video soon. Um, training is going well. I felt today's session really helped helped me, you know, get back on track. Just feel feel the blood pumping around my body again properly, you know, in a, in a, in a bodybuilder way. Because I'm an expert bodybuilder. <laughs> anyway, let's get some food. Post-workout, we are going to have a brand new tub of clear way. What I have been doing, it's not quite dinner time yet, so I'm gonna hang on till dinner time and just have like one of these. These have pretty much replaced a normal freaking whey protein for me. I will very rarely now have a protein shake. I will have a clear whey isolate shake. If I'll have protein, like isolate or something like that, I usually have it with oats. Um, and so these have pretty much, to be honest, replaced my my regular protein shake intake, if you like. Scoop still on top, yes. I never had this ages. Could just be a coincidence, I don't know. One heap scoop of the peach tea flavor going down and there will be around about anywhere from 20 to 25 grams of protein because I always put a heap scoop um, in there. But if you're unsure, just level the scoop off and round down to 20. But, um, yeah, this, uh, this, I love the mojito flavor, right? And I love mojitos. But then I always feel like when I'm tasting mojito that I feel like I should be going out. And so I tend to have that one before bed and I'm just sat there like, yeah, sat in bed with a mojito. Whereas if it's like during the day, I'll resort to the peach tea. If you guys want to pick anything up, you guys know the drill. Um, links in the description box. Um, if you use that link, that will directly help me out and the code um, as well. It'll be much appreciated and also it will get you entered into the monthly giveaway that I'm going to be doing at the end of every month. And I can tell you guys, you guys have absolutely freaking smashed it this month. Like it works on tiers and stuff, the thing that I do. And um, yeah, we're, uh, we're smashing it. So keep it up. And uh, yeah, the more of you guys that use the code, the bigger the giveaway can be every month. So thank you to everybody who does. And cheers. This one's for you. Know what that tastes like? That tastes like 35% off when you use the code LSJ. Oh yeah, yeah that tastes real good. Yes, yes it does taste real good Liam. It does. I've had a fresh haircut by the way. Uh, do you like it? You do. Stay tuned for the next video or the one after that to see me getting it cut. How entertaining, I know, right? Actually, that 35% off code is 42% um, because of Black Friday. And it will not last. My protein links in the description box. I said it a thousand times in this video, I need to relax. 
But yeah, 42% off instead of um, 35. So if you want to pick something up, save an extra 7% on top of normal. I mean, it's a no-brainer, really. You're probably going to buy it in a few days. You may as well do it now. Even I've picked myself up some more stuff. But yeah, I hope you have... <coughs> Keep coughing too. I hope you have enjoyed today's video, everybody. Um, and if you have, drop it a like for little Jesse Puff. She's looking directly at a toy. Look, 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 look. Ready? Come. Sit. Come here. Good girl. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff, people. Let me mute that so we don't get copyrighted because of the chase or whatever that game is. Thank you all for your support. Um, especially, you know, the things that you guys don't see on here, you know, if you take the time to message me, that really means a lot. Thank you. Um, had a few really, really quite nice, meaningful messages. And you know who you are. You're, I hope you're watching this video. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, and it helps me, you know, it helps me get through when I don't feel too great, like I did at the start of this video. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Catch. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave the room because of that squeak. <laughs> That's uh, Liam, come and play with me. Come and play with me. I need you, Liam. She has been on her own a fair bit today, but anyway. Um, yeah, that was it. That was why I had to take, not had to take, kind of. She's still going. That's why I had to take a break uh, from the gym. Um, and why it was a good thing, you know? The title's gonna be something along those lines. Thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate you all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support. Let's smash 50 likes on this video. Let's see if we can do it. Together, we will grow. Got some exciting things planned. Every YouTuber says that, but I'm very, very excited. Good times ahead, people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.